Hello everyone, today I'm going to be sharing with you 10 of my favorite snacks. I got the idea for this video from Snacked by First We Feast, so let's get into the first snack. These are the Wasabi Ranch flavored Harvest Snaps. I've been eating original salted Harvest Snaps for years, and around a month ago, I found out about the Wasabi Ranch flavor, and these are killer. They're so much better, and they're packed full of flavor. These Harvest Snaps have such an addictive texture. They're so light and airy and crunchy. They're full of air and they have a very light pea flavor. You don't really taste the rice and really the seasoning is what makes this delicious. It's almost like a cool ranch seasoning. Sort of reminds me of the cool ranch Doritos, almost like that seasoning mixed with a little bit of wasabi just to give it a little bit of kick, but nothing overpowering. These are also fairly healthy since they're not fried and they're baked, so that means they're pretty low in fat, and they're also fairly high in fiber and protein. These are barbecue flavored wonderful pistachios. Lately, I've really been into these wonderful pistachios, and I love the shelled variety. That way you don't have to bother with the shell, and it's a lot easier to eat. And I found that my favorite flavor is the barbecue. These pistachios are nice and roasted. I really love the toasty flavor and the barbecue seasoning basically just tastes like the barbecue seasoning that's on barbecue lays. I really like the snack because nuts are pretty healthy. They're high in a lot of good fats for you and they're good for the heart. I just really love my nuts. Now for a snack not quite as healthy. These are the Trader Joe's white truffle potato chips. These chips are delicious. They have the perfect texture. They're a little bit thicker than Lay's, but they're still nice and thin. So they just have enough thickness so that they're nice and durable. They don't crumble in your hands. And the truffle flavor is really intense. And I'm impressed by that because they're fairly inexpensive chips. These are the Kettle Parmesan Garlic Potato Chips. I love the texture of these kettle chips. They're so thick and crunchy. And honestly, my favorite flavor is the garlic parmesan because I love the rich cheesy flavor. And there's a little bit of garlic, which just adds a really nice hint. This is a snack from my childhood. I used to eat this all the time when I was little. This is a rice cracker mix. And honestly, I still do eat this quite often. All the rice crackers have a little bit of a different flavor. Some of them have more of a sweet soy flavor. The other ones are more savory. And my favorite are the little itty bitty green ones, which have a nice spiciness to them. My mom also loves these rice crackers. When she was little, she used to always go on long road trips and she would always bring a bag of these rice crackers to eat in the car. And it's funny because over the summer, my aunt came to visit me. And when she was driving up, she had a big bag of these rice crackers in the back of her car and she was snacking on them on the drive up. Now for one of my favorite fruits. This is the world's largest citrus fruit, AKA the pomelo. When I was younger, my grandma used to have a pomelo tree in her backyard. And whenever I would visit her for Lunar New Year, she would always have a few freshly picked pomelo for me since she knew I loved it so much. I cut the pomelo into a much more manageable slice. So let's get a nice bite of this. The taste of the pomelo is quite unique. It's a little bit more dry than a grapefruit, which I don't mind. I actually kind of like it. And it's also more mild than a grapefruit, not quite as bitter or sour, a little bit sweeter. And it has a really nice and unique fragrance. And it's pretty hard to find, but it's definitely worth it if you can find it. I usually just get it at the Asian market. You really have to try it. It's so delicious. Now for the Lenos Miriam Berry Greek Yogurt. I go way back with this Elenos yogurt. My friend got me some from Seattle and that was when they used to only sell in Seattle. And then a few years ago, they started selling it at local stores in my area. And I was so happy because it's so delicious and you'll see why. 
This is some of the smoothest and creamiest Greek yogurt I've ever had. I also really like the sweetness. It's not overly tart. And you, I love the Marion Berry flavor. It tastes like it's almost like a Marion Berry jam. And you have little bits of the seeds in there. And the taste is almost like a cross between a raspberry and a blackberry, and maybe even a blueberry. Pretty unique and definitely delicious. This is the Harmless Harvest Chocolate Coconut Smoothie. I love pretty much everything from this Harmless Harvest brand. They have coconut waters and other types of coconut smoothies, and everything is really high quality, and I love the flavor. However, it does come with a little bit of a hefty price tag, so I try not to get it too often. Before we try this, we gotta give it a nice shake. This is so delicious. It's a rich coconutty base. It's so rich and thick. It almost reminds me of chocolate milk and you have a really intense coconutty flavor. And you also taste that they use cocoa powder in here. So it's almost like you're drinking a melted coconut chocolate that's been chilled. So refreshing and really for chocolate lovers. And I also love the other flavors as well. This is some crunchy strawberry Pocky. I actually don't like the original Pocky flavors, just the basic chocolate and strawberry. However, I do like this crunchy strawberry one. It's a chocolate biscuit stick and it's covered in freeze dried strawberries as well as some strawberry cream. The biscuit stick is really nice and crispy. I love the chocolatey flavor. It goes really well with the strawberry. The strawberry cream also doesn't taste overly artificial. And I like the freeze dried strawberries on the outside because it adds a nice tartness. This is one of my favorite chocolates. This is the Cho Dark Duo. Last year, one of my friends in AP US History recommended that I eat dark chocolate as a study snack because it helps improve your memory. And turns out after doing it, I realized that my test scores did go up a bit. And I don't think it was anything due to my studying. It was just that I was eating this dark chocolate, which I think just helped me remember stuff a little bit more clearly. Dark chocolate is also really healthy. It can help lower cholesterol and possibly even lower your blood pressure. Cho is made locally in Berkeley, and it's some of my favorite dark chocolate because it's really high quality and you can really taste it. I really love their chocolate. It's so rich and creamy. It's some of the smoothest dark chocolate I've ever had. And I also like that they reduced their sugar. They used to have 10 grams of sugar, but with the new recipe, they only use six grams of sugar in each serving. So it's a lot better for you. And it still doesn't taste overly bitter. The chocolate almost has a nice fruity note, which I think is really nice. I really enjoyed sharing with you some of my favorite snacks. And next time you're at the store, if you see some of these, definitely give them a try. You're gonna really enjoy them. Let me know in the comments down below what some of your favorite snacks are. And yeah, I really hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure if you did to give it a like, and also make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.